But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. The life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation. Let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, it is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. So we're here and it's Black History Month and we are featuring our first Black-owned business. As you can see behind me, we have the edge. I'm going to go in, I'm going to get some food and I will give you guys a little history and of course I will give you guys a review on what I'm going to get. Today's black history fact is on Langston Hughes. Hughes was a central figure in the Harlem Renaissance. The flowering of black intellectual literacy and artistic life that took place in the 1920s in a number of American cities, especially in Harlem. A major poet, poet Hughes also wrote novels, short stories, essays, and plays. He sought to honestly portray the joys and hardships of working class black lives, avoiding both sentimental and negative stereotypes. I chose Hughes because he often visited a library that was right above the edge. Thanks for tuning in. That is it for this video's Black History Back. Okay guys, I went in to get seated and unfortunately the kitchen is closed right now. So I'm going to go home and relax a little bit and I'm going to come back when the kitchen is open and I'll be giving you guys.
So your favorite journalist was so, so, so scared to sit in this restaurant and talk to a camera. So I decided to do a voiceover, so here I am. As you guys can see, I got the cheeseburger sliders. I think it was officially called the New York, the New York burger slider? I think, you guys can see it in the video. When I tell you these burgers were fresh and seasoned, I know I, I usually get something bigger and more elaborate, but today I wasn't feeling anything like that, so I just got a small meal because I wasn't super hungry. And it came with spicy mayo, the burger, tomato, and lettuce. That tomato was so fresh, it was ripe, it was just perfect for this burger. The bun came on like an I don't know what kind of bun this was, but I really, really did enjoy it. I wish they would have toasted a tad bit more, but nonetheless, it still was very, very good. I sat in the restaurant and I ate this burger. I did not get a Sprite because they only had ginger ale, so I got water instead. But nonetheless, I would rate this burger a strong, strong, nine out of ten i wish i would have got the bigger burger the edge burger because i think i would have been a little more full and enjoyed that more but nonetheless it was really really good so the burger gets a nine out of ten rating I gave you guys a little cheers as if you were there with me. As you guys can see, that first bite was heavenly. I was so pleasantly surprised about that first bite of cheesecake. And then it was time for dessert. So I got the, the cheesecake with mixed berries and it came with strawberries, blueberries, and powdered sugar. And I loved, 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 loved this cheesecake. I think cheesecake is becoming one of my favorite desserts. I absolutely loved it. It wasn't too rich, it wasn't too creamy. It was just right in both of those aspects. As you guys can see, I gave you guys a little cheers on the cheesecake. But this cheesecake might have been a 9.5 out of 10. I, guys, I absolutely loved it. I'm probably gonna go back and get the chocolate mousse that they have. Chocolate isn't really my favorite, but nonetheless, I want to try more food from this place. This place was really, really good. Awesome customer service, awesome atmosphere. So I would give this place an overall 9.5 out of 10. I'm so happy I chose this restaurant.
had an awesome experience. I'm so glad that was a black owned business. That place was really, really, really good. I sat in there for a while and just chilled and just enjoyed the vibe. It was so, so good to be a part of supporting a black owned business. I did come out and film the outro for you guys so it wouldn't be dark when I got out. But nonetheless, I sacrificed a little for you guys. I loved that restaurant. It was so, so good. I didn't get a lot of food, but nonetheless, I think I got enough to get full. So you guys will see the outro video after this, and that's it. That wraps up my experience here at The Edge. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.